Welcome back, and we have reached the grand finals of the CTWC 2024 Desert Regional. We have two gold bracket world championship players here. First, we have our runner up from last year's Desert Qualifier, number two seed, Oscar. And facing Oscar, you know him, you love him. He is the game crasher. He is the Tetris kid. Number one seed, Blue Scooty. In an epic match of world championship caliber, are you ready, Phoenix, Arizona, for the grand finals? Let's go. Count it down with me, this first in a three out of five match. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tetris! Stress, 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 stress. Here we are, grand finals. Oscar versus Blue Scooty, three out of five. Both world championship gold bracket players from CTWC 2023 looking to make their mark here in 2024. We're in a new age of Tetris. Records being smashed left and right. Players reaching game crash, doing things that humans were thought to not be able to do, that only AIs could do. Players like Blue Scooty paving the way for the future of competitive Tetris. So Blue Scooty ready for a Tetris here on row two. Build him Tetris for Scooty, 71,000. Oscar having to do some burns. Nothing too hard. A couple of burns ought to get. Okay, well, there are a few options here. Instead of going for a middle well, Oscar might go for a shift to the left well. The possibility is there. Turns that long bar into a flat burn. Is Tetris ready for the left well? And boom, left well Tetris for Oscar. 67,000, but meanwhile, Scooty has been scoring 139 now, 139K. Tetris ready, maintaining the row two, slightly dirty Tetris here. And boom, Tetris for Scooty, 163. Content to stay on that one row off the ground. Oscar also maintaining the left well, so a little bit of unorthodox play here from both players, but it's working out. Players will do what they have to do to maintain maximum efficiency. If you don't take the burns, you turn your garbage into a dirty Tetris, you don't lose any points potential. Oscar with the middle well, also one off the ground. Isn't able to cash it in with that long bar, but the next one does. Nice, dirty center well Tetris from Oscar at 147. Maintaining some points efficiency there. Is ready for another. Maintaining the middle well. One off the ground. Okay, Sukuni doing a Vitz in the middle of the play field. Very impressive. Maintains that now on row three. Banging down another Tetris. Yeah, so two rows off the ground. Another Tetris for Scooty. Maintaining the points efficiency without having to burn those lines. Gets another Tetris. Very content to stay there. When you're a roller and you can move that fast, if you can handle it, it's not a bad thing. Oscar also being very resourceful, maintaining the middle well. Here's a clinic in points efficiency and dealing with what you're given. Oscar, middle well, off the second row, waiting for that long bar. Okay, ops take the double. Might transfer to a right dirty well here, but ops take the triple. A little less risky, but you don't have to wait for another long bar in that case. And gets the dirty Tetris. It could burn down to the bottom. Oh. And is going to actually still play one off the bottom. 
gets a Tetris, and continue playing there, as Scooty has been doing for quite some time. 425 now, 426 to Oscar, so Scooty's lead has been growing as a result of the points efficiency here. Blue Scooty set up for a Tetris, now completely clean. No garbage on the bottom. Textbook well set up. Burns that triple off the top to keep it safe. And boom, Tetris to Scooty, 455 at 99 lines. Monster score on the way. Oscar also having not such a bad game either. Bangs down to Tetris. Still playing one off the bottom, but no major problems with that. Deal with what you're given. You bang down another Tetris at 372. 133,000 points behind Blue Scooty, but playing a solid game nonetheless. Okay, Scooty ready for a Tetris. Just completely efficient at this point at 523,000 points at 111 lines. Will Blue Scooty once again break 600K? Boom, Tetris for Scooty. Could be more than 600K at transition. There's another Tetris. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty much surviving at this point. We'll score that 600K at transition. Oscar at 446. Losing a little efficiency there, but also playing one off the bottom. We'll see if Oscar maintains that going into transition. Scooty hitting 130 lines and transition. 618,000 points. As expected, 600K at transition. Excellent score. Oscar, 129 lines. Is going to transition with the next line clear. It's holding out for the long bar. It's a little bit of risky getting that triple that high up and actually plays aggressively, not burning off the top there. Interesting. Keeping that well open. Still trying to get that Tetris. Is able to play up there, though, and uh, still surviving. Man, that this drought is starting to affect the stack. And finally, Oscar gets a Tetris. Finally, the payoff for all that. Still playing one off the bottom, 518,000 points to Scooty at 698. So 698 opening up a huge lead here of 150,000 points. Another Tetris, 726 now. Scooty increasing the pace, increasing the deficit. Oscar just doing what's possible to be able to keep up. Triple for Scooty. Scooty now set up in column eight. And Oscar, wow, nice adjustment by Oscar there for the column three Tetris. Very impressive move there. And another Tetris by Oscar. Super good efficiency here on level 23 by Oscar, but Scooty also playing pace for pace there. Also super aggressive, also getting just as many Tetrises as you could ever imagine. At 863, only at level 25. Well on our way to a maxed out score here. Oscar doing well enough to survive and uh, we'll see, uh, probably see a max out here in short order. Oh man, Oscar has a bit of burning to do with that. Nothing fatal, but it will affect some of the points efficiency, leaving Scooty unchallenged at 962,000. 995,000 and double back-to-back -back Tetrises. Blue Scooty has maxed out. Cowbell, ding, 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 ding. Oh, there it is. I didn't see a cowbell on the table, so I had to do the fake one. <laughs> but Bill was on it, as always. Thank you, Bidwell. Max out score. Scooty playing up high. Level 28, so first kill screen is coming. Gets a Tetris. A70. Headed towards 1.1 million. Oh, Oscar didn't get the log bar in, but does get the next one surviving. 833,000 points. Kill screen number one is coming for Scooty as this goes into B12. 1.1 million, playing up high on level 29.
That is so high, but Scooty can handle it. That is unthinkably high for... Wow. Opens it right up. Boom! Tetris for Scooty. Opening up that well. B65. Oh, missed drops and Scooty tops out. Oscar at level 30 is able to survive, actually, at this speed as well. Oh, but the left side is going to be a problem. And despite surviving into the level 30, tops out at 899. Scooty takes the first round. All right. We're set for round two. Count this down with me. Three, two, one. Tetris. Tris, 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 tris. So Scooty up by one game. We're in a best of three of five. So Oscar not quite in danger of being eliminated yet. But you definitely want to be on your game here. Sometimes early top outs happen, so you want to be on it. You want to be in the game at all times. Oscar also being runner up last year, so it would either be a victory or maintaining that similar amazing performance. Ooh, Scooty with some precarious position. Oh, there it is, the blue Scooty early top out. Oscar takes the second round, just like that. Fly too close to the sun, you can get burned, and uh, you have to be on it. As I was saying, anything can happen, and you have to be at the top of your game to take advantage of any opportunity. We are 1-1. One, one. Best of three of five has now become two out of three. All right, we're here to start round three now. Ready to count it down with me. Three, two, one, Tetris. Tris, 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 Tris. So already, some unexpected excitement here in the grand finals. No sweep here. Oscar versus Scooty. Legitimate matchup here. Both world champion gold bracket players looking to make their mark here at a regional on the road to Pasadena's world finals. Coming in June. Oscar with an early lead here, 69,000 points early on. Scooty ready for some kind of spin there to keep it clean. Takes that T-tuck and into a Tetris. 70,000 points, neck and neck early on. Exactly tied, actually. 71,060 to be exact. Okay, Scooty building up high. Definitely get to see some maneuvers players wouldn't normally perform up that high, but that can get you into trouble, like what happened in the last round. Oscar with a safe, normal-looking stack. Bags down to Tetris at 101. Scooty with a Tetris, also 108. Neck and neck. Scooty with a Tetris. Oscar, almost Tetris ready, and gets a Tetris. 150, neck and neck, as we continue, one third on the way to uh, transition here. Oscar with another Tetris. Very close game here. So yeah, both players here able to play post kill screen. How far will we see it? Will we see super kill screen today? There is a chance. Just like there was a chance of rain yesterday here in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, Scooty taking some burns off the top. Oscar can get a point to Efficiency advantage here. Bangs down that Tetris. 245. Oscar one Tetris ahead now. Scooty is clean so far. 
but doesn't get favorable pieces. Might turn this into a dirty well, we'll see. No, opts to take the double and maintain the normal well on the right side. Oscar, meanwhile, also doing a double skim to keep the play field open. Nicely done. And is Tetris ready? Both players Tetris ready and s -s 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 simul Tetris, Tris, Tris, Tris. One of a few today. And Scooty ready for another one. Boom, Tetris for Scooty. Oscar with a nice tuck adjustment there. Love to see it. Oscar maintaining this one Tetris lead. Another Tetris for Oscar. Oscar now 50,000 points ahead. Scooty ready for some Tetris though, and there's one. Boom, Tetris for Scooty. Boom, Tetris for Oscar. 388 to 337. Scooty with another Tetris, reducing the deficit. But Oscar getting Tetris ready as well. Both players Tetris ready. Near simultaneous Tetris is there. 411 to 4, 383. Good score pace here for both players. Wanting to hit back in the past, you know, you just kind of want to hit 500K for transition, but players are capable of so much now. I'm not even sure if that's good anymore. Another Tetris for Scooty, 429, catching up a little bit. Oscar's been about a Tetris ahead for most of this game. But now that's shrinking. And with that, Scooty's going to jump ahead just for a second. We are neck and neck. Oscar behind by lines by just a little bit. Getting to that 10 away from transition where you want to have your play field good. Not taking any unnecessary risks. And both players have hit about the 500,000 point mark. If this continues, we'll be seeing some more max outs. 1-1. One, one. Neck and neck scores. This is as even as it gets. Let's go. Tetris for Oscar, 552. Scooty waiting for that long bar. Takes a double skim off the top. Game finally giving that long bar. Boom, Tetris for Scooty into transition. 548. Oscar, one more, well, hmm. Needs to do a skim. May not be able to clear that off in time for transition. We'll see how this happens. Okay, nice dirty Tetris into transition. Gave game what was needed. Not the best board state now, but 600K into transition. Both players tearing it up here in this grand finals round. Both players, one victory apiece. Oscar skimming off the top. Getting up a little high, but nothing fatal yet. Okay, gets a Tetris. Playing one off the bottom, like last round, where that was uh, the norm. But Scooty now um, playing very efficiently, has a very standard board textbook right well, just banging down the Tetrises very consistently, very clean, double into a Tetris. Another Tetris from Scooty. Scooty raining down the Tetrises has grown an over 100,000 point lead just in those moments alone. Oscar ready for a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Oscar, 700,000. That's going to help a little, but Scooty answering right back with the Tetris. The aggression and efficiency from Scooty in, ever increasing as we go towards level 29 on the first kill screen. 829 now, boom, Tetris for Scooty, 859. Oscar trying to keep up with this 100,000 point lead here. Playing best as possible. Good board, good clears. Boom, Tetris for Oscars. 797, that's gonna help, but Scooty is getting awfully close to maxing out here. 955 at line 200, level 26. This could be uh, 
Next Tetris will max out at level 26. Boom, max out for Scooty. Hit that cowbell, bid well. Million points there for Scooty, A20. And is Tetris ready again? Clean board, boom, Tetris for Scooty, A54. 1,054,000 points. Well, 27, okay, Oscar got some dependencies going on. Gets that, nails that triple. That's what you need to do to survive. Could see both players going into the kill screen speeds. We've seen both players hit 30 last time. How far will they get this time? Scooty at level 28. B26, 1.1 million plus. Nice spin from Scooty here at level 28, about to go to level 29. 224 lines, so a couple of Tetrises will do it. Skims off the top, takes that Tetris into kill screen, level 29. Nice board setup, takes a triple. Tetris ready, boom, Tetris for Scooty. C14, 1.2 million. Oscar, 965, about to max out. So we could have the first double max out of the day very soon. Okay, Oscar, Tetris ready, boom, Tetris for Oscar. Kill screen for Oscar, double max out here. Both players in the millions, but Oscar having a Issue on the left side of the play field. Needs to get something to the left. That might not be survivable. Oh, gets the box over, but still is not able to survive. Scooty takes the third round. 2-1. D11 so far. 1.3 million. Hurtling towards super kill screen. Mulling a little here, level 33. Deserved though. This is what you <laughs> this is what a lot of people come to see. They want to see the kid, the Tetris kid, Blue Scooty in action. One of the best players in the world. The game crasher showing the game how it's done. E25. Level 24. Center well Tetris at level 35 now. E72. 1.4 million, another Tetris, kill screen speeds, F17, 1.5 million plus another Tetris, maintaining aggression through the kill screen. This is why things like a game crash can happen when you have a player capable of pushing the game beyond its limits. F77, F79, rough hit. A Hexadecimal rollover here. And after that, I just start losing track. <laughs> 38, 39's coming. We get the hexadecimal rollover. Playing up real high. There it is. Zero, zero. Not even the letters can handle it. 1.6, 1.7 range score there. That is Blue Scooty. All right, here we go. This is potentially the last round. You guys, count it down with me. Three, two, one. Tetris, Tris, 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 Tris. I think that might be the first game I hexadecimal rollover commentary with. So I'm a little shocked myself, but amazing just to be our witness to it. Commentary rollover, yes. Yes, Bidwell. So Oscar with a nice clean play field here. Both players at 22,800, one Tetris apiece. Oscar building that one off the ground well again. Boom, Tetris for Oscar, 46,000 points. Neck and neck early on. Both players just at each other's threshold here. Okay, Scooty up to 100,000 points now. Oscar not far behind. Both players, clean play fields and ready. Oscar a little dependent there. Might want a couple of tucks and spins in order to keep that clean. But it's going to cost some burns. Blue Scooty also having to do some skims off the top, but has that well locked and loaded for a couple of Tetrises when the low long bar comes. There's the first. Boom. Tetris of Scooty. 145 and the other 168. 
growing that lead. Two Tetrises ahead. Oscar looking clean, backs down that Tetris. And ready for another one. Biscuti looking really efficient here. Hasn't really done much burning at all. Looking to see a monster score, as we have all day. Oscar needing to win this round to stay in the match and in the tournament. This is Grand Finals. Started as a three out of five, but Scooty up by one now. One game away from taking this regional and adding to the list of regionals and qualifiers that along the road and along the path to our CT Classic Tetris 2024 main event in Pasadena in June. Very exciting season, the best, most exciting season so far, I would argue. So much Tetris action, so many records being broken, so much history being made. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming out to Game On Expo to watch this spectacle, to watch and support our players. Thanks for tuning in to CT2, the bold, hip, alternative Classic Tetris channel, which I don't usually get to be on, but it's an honor to be a part of any of it. Oh, no perfect clear. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, my exact reaction is like, long bar, no giveth. No perfect clear. In terms of score, though, Scooty up to a two Tetris lead now. 380,000 points, 313 for Oscar. So much Tetris action. I don't even know what's going on in the Midwest today, but I know there's stuff going on. I'll have to catch up after, after the show's over. More Tetris than I can handle, and I'm in the middle of it. You, the viewer, are also in the middle of it. Oh, wow, nice. Scooty burning into the Tetris, the dirty Tetris, and ready for another point efficiency. Great. <laughs> Scooty affording a wave during gameplay. Amazing seeing what players can do when they're playing. When they're not, when they're, not <laughs> they're playing, but they can do other things while they're playing. <laughs> I think the Megaron concert started or something. <laughs> so that's the music you hear, I think. So Oscar at 433 now, both players just passing 100 lines. Scooty at 522 off to a monster score. We could be seeing another 600k transition. Oscar having some holes higher up to the top. I believe Oscar actually changes hand positions sometimes. That's interesting to see. Might allow some maneuvers that might not normally be possible. But yeah, Oscar needing to burn back down to the bottom. Scooty in great shape still. Tetris ready, 568 at 117 lines. Boom, Tetris or Scooty, 590 at 121 lines. Definitely gonna see some 600,000K transition and then some. Tetris ready, gonna tuck that L there. Nice skim, boom, Tetris for Scooty, 614. Not even at transition yet. And there's a transition, 639. Monster score, sign sealed and delivered by Scooty. Transition for Oscar at 468. Solid game. But gonna need a lot to catch up to Scooty's 666. 200,000 point lead at this point. One of the biggest leads of the day. Versus an active player. Gotta get into those 200,000 point leads. With super kill screen in effect, some of those leads can be insurmountable. Seven sixty nine at one hundred fifty four lines, level twenty one. Have very nice early max out potential here for Scooty, but there's a reason why it's one two. It's because you never know what can happen. 
Oscar will have to be ready for a chase down situation if should that if that should happen again. Boom, Tetris Rescue 881 at only level 23. It's going to be one of those early cowbell kind of situations. Nice build by Scooty. Tetris ready. Boom. Tetris for Scooty. 9-11 at 177 lines. Very efficient here at level 19 speeds. I mean, I wish I had the TRT here because this is a great pace. Amazing record-breaking pace of some kind here at 971. We are on the verge of maxing out. Boom, Tetris and max out. AO1, Oscar topping out. And that's going to be, that's going to determine the finals. Our champion, Blue Scooty. And congratulations to Oscar for once again being our runner up. Doing a great job representing here in the international Tetris scene at Game On Expo in Phoenix, Arizona. Blue Scooty with a huge score. Not even at double kill screen, super kill screen yet. A72 at level 26. BO4 at level 26. Amazing Tetris rate here. Super efficient. This is what people come to see. This is why the news talks about Blue Scooty, the Tetris kid, the game crasher, the legend. You're witnessing it right now here at the Desert Regional Phoenix, Arizona. Game on Expo 2024. Tetris doesn't get better than this. Level 28, B8. 1.2 million, C16, 226 lines. Got some lines to give. Boom, Tetris for Scooty. C53, approaching 1.3 million here. Level 29, really pushing it here. D0, 1.3 million, let's go. Nice setup there, another Tetris, maintaining the aggression here at post 29 speeds. Level 31, we could see another hexadecimal rollover. Oh, but just like that, it's so fast. It could end just like that, but what a great performance. What a great match between Oscar and Blue Scooty, your champion. Farming the regional events, Blue Scooty. Testing, testing, we're gonna be doing some interviews here. Here up on the stage, we have our runner up for the Desert Regional, Oscar, two time runner up. Very impressed with your performance. And uh, representing not only being multiple participant here in Arizona, but international player, Gold Bracket. I was very inspired by seeing your performance qualifying for Gold Bracket. You barely made it in, but you, you toughed it out. I think, I think you pushed Jeff into silver. Did I? So. I did play Jeff two years ago, but I was I was against him in the gold. But I didn't know I pushed him into silver. Yeah, that's a it was really close. So I think you might have. If you didn't make it into gold, I think he would have. So, but yeah, great performance there and great performance here. So what was it like playing against Blue Scooty? And what do you th what are your thoughts on this matchup? So my goal was to play a long game because I know he can play into kill screen, and I I guess I have to like study his game, study a lot of top players' game in kill screen. So my prediction, or, or it's not a surprise, that in the World Championship, kill screen will be a factor, and I have to to uh, catch up. I noticed that you change your hand position when you get close to the top. Is there something to that? Is that intentional? All right, so I used to dash, tap, and roll. So dash, tag, I have a, a dash, Stack, set, uh, mindset, tap, stack, and roll stack. That's amazing. I don't see very many players adapt on the fly to the in-game situation. So that's a really mark of a great player being able to play all three styles. And what's great about that is we're going to have more DAS events and more other types of events. So that'll make that'll make your skill set very adaptable to everything that's out there. Uh, what are your plans uh, for the rest of the season and maybe CTWC in Pasadena? 
my plan is to focus on 29 skill screen. That's my main uh, uh, my main goal. And maybe I'll just go World Championship in June. That's my, that's pretty much it. Well, I hope to see you there. I can't wait to see your performance. You're one of the best players. I love seeing you here and your great performances here in Arizona and definitely World Championships. See you in the gold bracket in June. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Oscar. Our runner-up, Oscar. All right. So you know the man, the myth, the legend, the game crasher, the Tetris kid, the reason why news around the world has been paying attention to classic Tetris, your champion for the desert qualifier, the desert regional here at Game On Expo 2024, Blue Scooty! So I think this is not your first regional. How many regionals have you won so far? This is my second one. All right, second one. So he's officially farming the regionals, getting, uh, getting experience and, uh, you know, laying a trail of this devastation throughout our brackets. What was it like and uh, what are your thoughts on this, uh, this uh, regional competition? It was an amazing event. Uh, I'm happy to win. <laughs> uh, it's cool. Yeah, you got like a custom trophy there. 3D printed. Yeah, that's a Tetramino. That's like a that's like a piece of a piece. It's a uh, love pieces and Tetris. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. That's cool. You gotta put it with your rest of your trophies. Yeah. Yes. Uh, give out some, give me some shout outs and your thoughts. Um, I don't know. I'm just really happy. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, well, tell me about what's your strategy going into CTWC main event in Pasadena in a couple of months. Um, if I outscore Fractal, I'm probably going to win. You're, you heard it from Scooty himself. If he outscores Fractal, he's going to win. You're going to win. All right. Well, best of luck, Scooty. Amazing performance. Thank you for coming out to, to my home, my, my neck of the woods, Phoenix, Arizona. You're a great performer. All these people came out to come see you. Tetris on the map because of the Tetris kid. Anything else? Uh, thank you, Chris. Chris Egg. You're very welcome. Thank you, Blue Scooty. High five. Boom, Tetris for you. Thank you for coming out and checking out the CTWC. Check out Classic Tetris on YouTube and Twitch. We're going to be giving you more Tetris than you can handle, more record-breaking performances, more Blue Scooty. Uh, I have to catch up on everything that's happening in the Midwest because there's more Tetris action happening even now. I don't know if it's over, but I love it. Let's, let's uh, enjoy the rest of the event. Love, pieces, and Tetris. Tetris for you.